Hey kids, it's me, Danny. Today, we're going to be talking about something many people go through. You see, there are times in a person's life that can feel like something is missing. Sometimes it makes us feel lonely or sad. We're going to be talking about... I can't find the missing piece! Sounds like Simon knows our topic for today. Hey, Danny. Hi, kids. Hi, Simon. I can't find my missing piece. How do you know our topic for today? What? We're talking about the missing piece in our lives. I'm talking about my puzzle. Your puzzle? Yeah. I got a brand new puzzle of something really cool. And as you may or may not know, I'm pretty good at doing puzzles. I did not know that. Yeah, well, I was almost done. In fact, I was down to my last piece when something horrible happened. What happened? I lost the piece of the puzzle, so I couldn't finish it. I don't know what the picture is. Where could it be? I don't know what to do. I feel lost. And that is the way many people feel because they don't have Jesus. People lost their puzzle piece? <laughs> no, people feel lost without Jesus in their lives. Oh, but they don't have to feel lost. Jesus died for our sins. I know, but there are people who don't realize that Jesus died for them and they feel like something is missing. Oh no. Simon? Kids, what you gotta know today is, Jesus is the missing piece. Say it with me, ready? One, two, three. Jesus is the missing piece. And that's what you gotta know. Great job. I'm glad I'm not missing that piece. I know Jesus died for my sins and I love him with my whole heart. That's good, Simon. Kids, it's Easter. And today, we're going to learn about Jesus dying on the cross for our sins so we can be born again. This means we can be forgiven and go to heaven one day. Doesn't that sound exciting? I can't wait to see Jesus one day. <clears throat> can you help me find my puzzle piece? Sure thing. Well, kids, I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember, Jesus loves you. See you later. Bye, kids. So, uh, what picture is on your puzzle? I don't know. I think it's a spaceship.
question. Guess what time it is? It's Bible story time! Today's Bible story is all about the very first Easter. Jesus spent three years preaching God's love to the world and performing miracles. Jesus' 12 disciples believed that he would change the world. Jesus was a major part of their lives. One day, something terrible happened. Jesus was arrested, beaten, and sentenced to death. His hands and feet were nailed to a cross. The soldiers laughed at him and made fun of him. The disciples couldn't believe it. They expected Jesus to fight back and defeat his enemies. But Jesus didn't fight back. Instead, he prayed for God to forgive the people who were hurting him. Sadly, Jesus died on the cross that day. The disciples were so sad. They thought it was over. Things were too bad to ever be fixed. The disciples thought God's plan had failed. Jesus' body was placed in a tomb and a huge heavy stone was rolled over the entrance. Three days later, some women came to the tomb. Guess what they found? The huge heavy stone was rolled away and Jesus' body wasn't there. Wow! Suddenly, an angel appeared to the women and said, Why are you looking for Jesus? He isn't here. He is risen from the dead. The women went to find the disciples to tell them the good news. Jesus is alive! Jesus later appeared to the disciples and many others, showing that he was indeed alive. God's plan wasn't over. Not even death stopped God. Today, you are going to learn that because Jesus is alive, we can invite him to fill in the missing piece of our lives. It's going to be amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Bible story. See you around.